Welcome everyone to another Monday Night Orange Pack to Get the Beat. Christina and I are happy to be here uh, at home with all our friends and students. This is a shout out to the UK, to um, Warren, Dance Inspired. We're coming to your Tango Festival tomorrow. So we look forward to a great weekend of dancing and teaching and getting thoroughly exhausted but having fun. Right. So, what was today's class about? Active following. Yes. <laughs> Active following and something for the leaders? Patience. Uh, <laughs> facilitating active following. Enabling, facilitating patience for the leaders. Okay? Now, we just gave you one idea to kind of get the blood going. And the idea is if leaders are giving you what and what, you're going to try to fill that. What's the, what's the boundaries that the leaders are setting up? Stepping on the major beats. Yeah, and then collecting. Step, collect. So this would be space and time. rhythm or time. So leaders are setting up the space and the time, and you're going to work inside of that, followers. For tango, you're going to try to subdivide. So what are the few followers, what are the few pointers uh, we talked about if we do decide to create this playfulness? Oh, go short back. first step. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Short first step. Yes, short first step. And then what else? Know before you go. Yeah, so you can commit and you can prepare for it. <laughs> and what's another aspect? And is that good? Like wow. And with and, your partner. And with our partner. Yeah, so don't get too ahead of them. And I heard light feet, light footed. Yes, yeah? So what I'm thinking about when I decided to create the quick quick is I'm really engaging my leg muscles, but I'm keeping my embrace pretty much the same. Yeah, so that there's a little bit of softness to the movement, even though my leader is feeling that rhythm. Um, a common mistake or habit or thing to do when you first start followers is to go way too fast. And maybe that's okay, we can cheat a little bit and it still almost fits on quick, quick, slow. But eventually for a tango you can really subdivide quick, quick, slow and make this work, even if you have to kind of go too fast in the beginning. Um, then chapter uh, two was what? Forward and back. Forward and back. So chapter one was to the side. Um, actually, we did it from the basic pattern, but we'll show that in the demo, right? The top of the basic and the end of it. But then this is much harder. This is probably the hardest thing. Because you're right in front of each other, and you really have to match the space yeah. and the time. So followers, try not to get away from your leader here or too much into them. Yeah, so this is the time that we're really thinking about um, making really short steps when you want to do the quick, quick part. We gave you in chapter 2.5 some safe zones. What were they? Walking. Walking forward and around your partner. Promenade. Walking promenade. Outside partner. Promenade. promenade, yeah. So if this is slow, I noticed followers how I kind of waited. When, when I know for sure that this is what we're going to do, then I can try to do the quick, quick slow. Yeah, and you can see now she's matching up with me. In the beginning, you might not feel like this. Ideally, you're going to match up with your leader. And the nice thing is, if you make an odd number of steps, what happens, followers? <laughs> Yeah, if you're going to start and finish with your left with one long step, but replace it with a quick, quick, slow, you're still finishing the exact same way. So you haven't disturbed the leader's idea of what foot you're on. You're still finishing on the foot he expected you to be on. Okay, chapter three was what? Playing with the parada. Parada? Playing with the parada. Yeah. So the moment where the, lead, the follower actually does a little bit of leading, and how do we... Um, how do we invite this moment, followers? What do we do? Compress. So we create a little bit of compression in our embrace, and you have a couple of choices. Before you step over, 
you can drag that leg. Yeah, you can look at your leader. Yeah, and where am I dragging that leg in relation to his standing leg followers? Around, Around him. So we don't disturb the raxis. And from here, you can collect and transfer weight, or maybe reverse it. Go to the other side. Yeah, and then collect again, and then if he's still willing to let you drag it, you can step over followers and then drag it with your back leg as you collect. Yeah? Um, this all requires what intention from the follower? Strong. Strong intention, like you're leading and you are leading at that moment. So we're going past the spectrum of active following and now getting to the lead zone. But this is a safe spot to try it, okay? Give your leader the signal, like psychologically and physically, compress your embrace, say, I am leading now for a second, and drag their foot, and then release that. Hopefully you do it with what? Confidence and? Yes. 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 Thank you. Music. All this stuff is a nice joke with the music. Here we go. We'll do a little demo. <laughs> Thank you. 